It is all about an old tailor who lived in Gloucester. <laughs> in the time of swords and periwigs and full-skirted coats with flowered lappets, <laughs> when gentlemen wore <gasps> ruffles and gold-laced waistcoats of padua soy and taffeta, there lived a tailor in Gloucester. One bitter cold day near Christmas time, the tailor began to make a coat. <laughs> the finest of wedding coats for the mayor of Gloucester. And a cream-colored satin waistcoat trimmed with gauze and green worsted chenille. Oh. Now, how can I fashion this with the least weight of these expensive stuffs? For I am sure I cannot afford to waste the smallest piece. Ah, now let me see. <laughs> Two narrow breaths for naught except waistcoats for mice. <laughs> Look what I've got. Oh, my. Oh, how well, beautiful. By my whiskers, I cannot remember when we last had silk of such quality on these premises. And look at this. And look. Look at this. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps there may just be... Yes, yes! A, a magnificent coat, but we'll need more silk. Uh, yes, thank you. Now we'll see. <laughs> what does he say? Ah, yes. Um, one bread there, one bread there, and um, uh, more thread. Uh, yes, more thread. Yes, and a measuring tape. Scissors. Pins. Needle. Yes, yes. More silk. More silk. More silk. We need more silk. More silk. More silk. Now, the lining. Ah, oh, yes. Of course, just the thing. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta for the lining. What? Yellow taffeta for the lining. Um. He says the lining will be yellow taffeta. Oh, my. Yellow taffeta. Uh, just what I would have chose myself. Uh, but has he commenced cutting yet? Oh, masterly. Masterly. <laughs> masterly. Oh. My poor back, but it is done. Now, let me see. That is uh, one, two, three, twelve. Twelve? Pieces. Twelve. Hold. And then four pieces for the west gun. Four. Four, four pieces. Four for all the lining. What? There's no breadth at all. Tippets for mice and ribbons for mobs. <laughs> it is no breadth at all. But it is all done. Now, let me see. Oh, I'm so weary. And the light is fading fast. Now then, there's pocket flaps, cuffs and buttons. Yes, all is ready for the morning. All ready and sufficient. Except for one item. And I am wanting one single skein of cherry-coloured twisted silk. lived quite nearby in College Court. Being so poor, he rented just the kitchen of a house next to the doorway to College Green. The mice were more fortunate and did not have to brave the bitter cold. With their secret passages and stairways, they could run from house to house. <laughs> 
indeed, all over town, without ever going into the street. Penny of our four pence. Buy me one penneth of cherry coloured silk. B but do not lose that last penny, Simkin, or I am undone and worn to a thread paper, for I have no more twist. I shall make my fortune <laughs> to be cut on the bias. Mm. The mayor of Gloucester is to be married on Christmas Day in the morning, and he hath ordered a coat and an embroidered waistcoat to be lined with yellow taffeta, and the taffeta sufficeth. There is no more left over in snippets than will serve to make tippets for mice. <laughs> I wonder what... Was I wise to entrust my last four pence to Simkin? I don't know. The waistcoat is cut out from peach-coloured satin. One and twenty buttonholes of cherry-coloured silk. Should be finished by noon on Saturday. And this is Tuesday evening. Oh. Was it right to let loose those mice? Undoubtedly the property of Simkin. Alack, I am undone, for I have no more twist. Fever. 
times a week. And I, if my hand does tremble, so well, what of the embroidery? <sighs> Only the finest stitching will suffice. One and twenty buttonholes. One and twenty buttonholes. Of cherry coloured twist to be finished by oh, noon. Finished by noon. On Saturday. On Saturday. No Saturday. more twist. No more twist. And it is already Tuesday. Tuesday. And it is Tuesday what is evening. To of the cherry -coloured coat? No more twist. And what should he do? No, no what twist. is to become of the cherry coloured coat? <laughs> oh, yes. oh yes. 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 Wait for me. And the waistcoat Embroidered with poppies and cornflour The waistcoat of cream-coloured satin by Saturday, you say Cut on the cross, yes And lined with yellow taffeta For the mayor's wedding To be finished by Saturday And it's Tuesday evening Trimmed with gauze and chenille To be ready for Christmas Day Oh, what a magnificent yes. Ah, these venison pasties. He gave us tippets for mice. Oh, my. Here we are. Is all clear? In the tailor's shop in Westcott Street, the embroidered silk and satin lay cut upon the table. And who should come to sew them when the window was barred and the door fast locked? Shall we cover the mayor's wedding clothes? For there is no more twist. No more twist. The twist. The twist. <laughs> what shall we come of us? The tailor had lain ill for three days and nights, and now it was Christmas Eve. But it is in the old story that all the beasts can talk in the night between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in the morning, though there are very few folk that can hear them or know what it is they say. Then get up and make your pies. Bake your pies, 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 bake your p
alum, kitty alum, a merry mouse in the mill. Cock me carry, kitty alum, kitty alum. It was a funky day, the well, kitty alum, kitty alum, a merry mouse in the mill. Cock me carry, kitty alum, kitty alum. By his side, he was on his high or set. Is he alone? Is he alone? His boots they shone as black as jet. Raveling, but I have my twist. Lovely day for the mayor's wedding. It's a beautiful day for the wedding. Happy Christmas. A fine day. Yes, it's a beautiful day. Happy Christmas! A beautiful day for the mayor and his bride. Alack, <laughs> <laughs> I have my twist. But no more strength nor time than will serve to make me one single buttonhole. For this is Christmas Day in the morning. The mayor of Gloucester shall be married by noon. And where is his cherry-colored coat? Mine, Simkin. Let me open the door. My favor must still be with me. I cannot believe my eyes. Oh, joy, a miracle. Oh, 
These exquisite roses. Just look at the pansies. Oh, and the poppies. Oh, I've never seen such cornflowers, but... What is this? Such tiny writing. Uh, no more twist. <laughs> How beautiful! A fine coat! Such ruffles! Uh, <laughs> such embroidered cuffs and lappets! Just like the mares! Magnificent! <gasps> such tabby silks and, and, and rosebuds! Oh, but the buttonholes are the greatest triumph! The stitches of those buttonholes were so small. They looked as if they had been made by little mice. 